and a Nigerian healthcare investment firm, stands as a unique conference and networking platform. It will connect financial institutions, developmental partners with business leaders and key decision makers in the health sector catalyzing conversations on funding and investment opportunities in the health sector. According to the executive director of Nigerian healthcare investment firm, Rashidat Amin, the event paves the way for exploring innovative financing models, addressing gaps in healthcare financing, and adopting both immediate and long-term growth with profound impacts on improving the delivery and equitable access to quality healthcare services forum here is focused on health technology and it's also important that Nigerians embrace health technology because we have a lot of shortages in our system, shortages of manpower, shortages of um, uh, personnel, shortages of equipment, but the health technology, the huge advances in health technology are actually set to help us leapfrog and move into a better space. But it's, so it's, it's very important that as Nigerians, we embrace um, health technology and we also embrace health insurance to ensure that we all, all achieve the kind of healthcare system that we require. Collaboration is key. For us, what we are talking about is public-private integration, which is a step ahead of public-private partnerships. The public and sector and the private health sector both have to work together seamlessly for the good of the patient. The for almost time is now. I think it's a time where we need to discuss um, the strategies are about how to increase investments in the in the health tech space. If we want health tech to get to where it should, which is play a crucial role in optimal health, we need that investment. And to get that investment, we need to be frank with our conversations on what we need to do, what we need to stop doing. To, to improve investment inflow into that space. So I think the, it's, a, it's, a, it's an event whose time is now. I think it's a very exciting event in the sense that um, it's good to finally see that as hospitals and as healthcare providers, we are engaging with a, um, with a bunch of stakeholders who are able to help us with the financing and talk about innovative ways of financing our operations, you know, um, talking about innovative ways for our patients to be able to access our services, to be able to pay for those services. Um, and this is something that we all recognize needs to happen in greater ways in Lagos and in Nigeria as a whole. So when you talk about qualitative health, delivery in Nigeria. You are actually going to be talking about universal health coverage. Now, universal health coverage talks about bringing down the health systems to the primary health centers to put less pressure on the secondary and tertiary health centers. So if you basically have a headache, you don't need to go to the federal medical centers or the university teaching hospitals. You can actually go to the primary health centers close to you. And we have so many primary health centers in every single local government. Now the question is, how do we qualitatively improve the primary health systems? Some states are already going into this. My organization is working with a lot of states to improve their primary health centers, especially when it comes to diagnostics. Because we believe that diagnostics is the backbone of medical practice. Without diagnostics, medicine is blind. So we believe that if we improve diagnostics, we can improve health outcomes. And with that, you are talking about better quality, stronger impact, in uh, health coverage and health systems. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.